Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with number four. We're already up to number four in our in our miniature masterpiece series. I'd like to get a bunch of them under our belts sort of quickly. Then I can make a playlist with them and we can do the rest of them more gradually. This is another suggestion that came from more than one of you out there. So I wanted to do it right away because it seems there's a demand. I mean, if two of you represent a demand, I mean, this is the world of classical music. When two people say the same thing, it's a demand. <laughs> That's a big deal. And the piece in question is Schubert's Moment Musico, number trois, number three. A gorgeous little piece in F sharp minor or F minor. It's F minor. It's F minor, I think. It's a minor. It's in, it has an F in it. And it's really, really lovely. An extraordinary melody. You know, Schubert, Schubert was known for having a totally personal and wonderful sense of melody that was based on free alteration between major and minor harmonies, often within the same phrase. And that kind of major minor alteration is very, very typical of Slavic music, Eastern European music, Jewish music, klezmer music, you know, that kind of soulful Slavic, you know, happiness seen through tears, this constant alternation. You don't know whether it's happy or sad. It's very emotionally ambivalent and incredibly moving and affecting for just that reason. It's an extraordinary melody. And this this one, this melody, it's an extraordinary handling of melody, pardon me. And this particular example really does encapsulate Schubert's technique so splendidly. Is it major? Is it minor? What's the hell's it going to wind up? And when it finally turns to the major in the end, it does so with, with great suddenness and with this wonderful, I don't know how to describe it, this wonderful feeling of, of all of the sudden it just relaxes into itself. And we know that all is right with the world where it just hadn't been before. It's, it's incredible what Schubert does in less than two minutes. This is the Moment Musico number three. Let me see who's doing this thing here. Um, this is a wonderful series, by the way, of, of Schubert piano music. It's on the Tudor label, and they're played by, by Gilbert Schuchter, who was a splendid, these are about 50 years old, these recordings, but they are magnificently recorded on an absolutely fantastic Bosendorfer, and boy, is it beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Here's what the box looks like, because Mr. Schuchter recorded all of the Schubert piano music, and like I said, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing, and here without further ado, is the incredibly songful, wonderfully Slavic, Jewish, whatever you want to call it, uh, moment, maybe, I, maybe I, it's the moment musical, <laughs> that's what it's called, I can't even say it, number three, there you go.
you know, it, it's the kind of tune. It's a bit like the finale of the Shostakovich second piano trio, almost with that same sort of bouncing rhythm and then da 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 dum ba da 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 dum bum ba. You know, it, it has that kind of of resonance to it, which I just it just hits me in the gut. You know, it really does. And I have to say, although the piece that you guys were interested in was number three, number five is also less than two minutes, and it's in the same key. And it's another really remarkable example because rhythmically it tends to be very relentless. It's all based on that sort of dactylic rhythm that we hear in the Wanderer Fantasia, that sort of dum ba ba bum ba ba bum ba ba bum that sort of thing. But the harmony is so wonderfully unpredictable. And the regularity of the rhythm combined with the unpredictability of the harmony and the way that it shifts and just enough rhythmic surprise to keep you guessing where it's going to go, it gives the whole piece another very, very agitated kind of feel until, as in the previous one, the sudden change to the, to the major at the very, very end, so that the whole thing just sort of relaxes in a somewhat more triumphant ending than the previous one. But I want you to hear that too, because it's really, really a great little piece. And as long as we're doing them, we might as well do both, because they're both less than two minutes long. So here is the Moment Musico number uh, five. Yeah, number five. That's the one. Here you go. Schubert's amazing. I mean, Schubert really is amazing. You know, you can pick almost anything by him and you already know who it is just because of that, that intense, intense alternation of major, minor, and, and the beautiful, you know, melodic and lyrical songfulness and the extraordinary use of harmony. I mean, he was a guy. He really, really had a special feel for this stuff. So that is our miniature masterpiece du jour. Keep on listening, folks. Thank you for joining me and let me know what your miniature masterpiece is. Take care.